Hello and welcome to the show, everybody. I am Marta Roland, and I am here with a new episode of Same Cast Different Day Podcast. So tonight is not going to be our traditional episode, episode because there are I know here locally there's a election coming up uh, April fourth, and I wanted to talk about that because it's about uh, stuff like that and why it's so important for people to go out and vote. And it's crazy because if you don't vote. And in voting this election, because I've heard so many people who are in their 40s, 50s, or whatever how old they are, saying, like, oh, my vote doesn't matter and it's not important. And it is important. And if you care about a friend or family member who uh, is part of the LGBTQ community um, or in an interracial relationship, you need to go out and vote. And not only is, uh, you know, the judges that's uh that's on this election that's coming at us on there. There's other stuff on there. Uh, so one of the other things that's on there is, um, one of the questions is if people should have. I guess depending on the crime, if they should have the right to vote, depending on how violent the crime is. I guess if they're accused of real violent crime, they would not have the right to bail out. Um, that is something I can hundred completely agree with. If they are in there for a very violent crime for murder or any, anything of the nature of murdering multiple people, then yeah, they should be bailed out or attempted murder, running you know, trying to run over somebody with a car. You know, yeah, then they should be able to uh, not get bailed to bail out. Uh, one of the other questions was in Wisconsin, if uh, what am I thinking about? If abortion should be legal. I do agree that abortions should be legal. Um, I feel like the people who are making these decisions, these decisions, who feel like it should be illegal, it's not their body. Like, how would somebody feel if, you know, somebody said, well, you know what, you have cancer, and then somebody else come along and say, you know what, I don't believe in the cancer treatment, so you're not allowed to get cancer treatments. Or, you know, what you need to be able to beat this. Or will somebody come along and say, you know what? I feel like you just don't deserve something and and you don't have a choice in it. So I believe if, if when it comes to the people, they should have a choice on what they do with their body. That's why I agree that abortions should be legal um, in that matter. And I feel like this is something that shouldn't be fought. I feel like something, this is something that shouldn't be a matter. You know, if I am raped by somebody, if I'm a woman and I'm raped by somebody, why would I want to keep that child? Somebody uh, has said, uh, has said uh, that, you know, the, this woman had got raped and her son ended up becoming an NBA, you know, an NBA player, player in the NBA. That's fine. That's great. You kept the child. But for, for some people, it's not like that. It's like you look at that child every day and you're reminded of what happened against your own will. And I don't think many women will want to live through that. Um, another thing that was on the ballot was, uh, do we feel like people uh, who are able-bodied people who is receiving government benefits should have to uh, actively be looking for work in order to receive and be- receive benefits? This is something I 100% agree with. If you are a body person and you're just sitting on your ass, there's no reason why I feel like you should be sitting at home getting government assistance if you're not even trying to make something of yourself or trying to get out the situation that you're in. Uh, then, yeah, you should not be able to receive benefits and you should have to go look for a job, actively be looking for work in order to be receiving benefits. Now, on to the judges. So the reason why I wanted to talk by by judge or going out and vote for these judges are so important because there are once again there are there are these laws, these idiot laws that are being passed right now that singles out certain groups of people because you have these Christian extremists who are trying to push their ways on people. And if you know me, I don't believe the Bible. I don't believe in the Bible. I believe that there is a higher power, but I don't believe what that says. Like the Bible has written so many times and then certain words has been transferred into the American version or the English version and certain words, all this kind of stuff. Like I, I just don't, I don't believe in that. Like the Bible to me is just a bunch of fictional stories, like fictional stories that we don't know that really happened. And 
I just, I just can't, I just can't see it. Like, I just, I, I just can't. There's, there's, the Bible is just full of, it's, to me, it's, it's full of crap, to be honest. I mean, I don't care how people see it. You can hate me all you want to. That's just how I personally feel. Like, and then for people to try to push what's in this man-made Bible, because I don't feel like anything in that Bible is the word of God, to be honest. Because if that was the word of God, then why is these Christians doing everything that's not in there? That they're doing everything that God says not to do, they're doing it. So if this is and they believe in it so much and and and, and God says this, God says that, then why aren't you following the words of God for real? I mean, be real with yourself. So, like I was saying, it's so important to vote for the judges because there are laws getting passed that's affecting a ton of people. Like, to me, America has become one of the places that I feel like no one should And people who from the other countries that look over say, think how America is so great. It's not. America does not take care of the people. Their government does not take care of the people. The government will let you lay on the street and die. But want you to get up, want you to go and fight this war protect to protect this land. They just let people just die. They feel, you know, drag queens we, reading to children is is more danger to uh kids than is the more and you know these people are able to get guns easily and going in these schools and shooting up the schools or it's, it's all kind of things that that they that they, that they can be doing besides singling out a, a certain group of people. Oh, uh, so in Iowa, uh, this was a trap because this is how Roe versus Ray Wade was turned over in the Supreme Court, and they're they're targeting so much uh, different stuff to the point it's ridiculous. So they're targeting so much stuff. Um, in Iowa, they put a bill forward, which this was a setup because they know that people are going to try to sue so this bill would be legal. And then once this bill, the judges be like, ah, I don't want to touch it and just keep going up and it keeps 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 going up to reach the Supreme Court. And once this bill reaches the Supreme Court, that's how when things would change. So there was this bill filed, uh, filed in Iowa that they're trying to get through in Iowa where, you know, they won't recognize same-sex marriage. And once again, if that goes up to the Supreme Court, they're going to say, mm, it's not exactly written in the Constitution. I was written back in the 1700s. So, yeah, this is not legal and it's illegal. Because according to, you know, the Constitution, it has to be a, 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 a man that was born a man and a woman that was born a woman who are able to get married so not only would it sing about men, men to men who's getting married, but it's also uh, affect people who are trans who want to get married. They will not be able to get married. And I feel it's like, why are y'all full of so much hate? Like, what has the LGBTQ community has done to you? Like, they are productive citizens. They are productive citizens out there. You know, they pay their taxes. They take care of their children. They have children. Um. And I pretty, I just feel like pretty soon they'll try to take away, you know, their people' rights to adopt because of their sexual orientation, which I don't believe is the thing that should happen. Because if that kid is going into a loving home, going from an abusive home to a loving home, why does it matter who is raising that kid? Like, just because a kid parent has two gay dads doesn't mean that that kid is going to necessarily turn out to be gay. You know, these kids and more than likely, even I don't like they're not there. It's, it's if they do turn out gay, so what? It's not because your gay ways onto this kid, and you know, and they're like, oh, you have to be gay. It's, no, it doesn't work. That you love you, you like, you like, you know, young like what you like for a long time. You might seem very confused about what you like. You really interested in but eventually you find out what you like and what you, what you like and there is nothing that can they, they can do about it that can be done about it you like what you like um tennessee um 
Um, first of all, World Wrestling Entertainment, if y'all don't step away from Kane, who's a, a, a Mary Knox Connie, uh, Glenn Jacobs, I should say, Glenn Jacobs, known as Kane at WWE. If y'all don't take a step back from him and you know, separate yourself from him, uh, as much of a WWE fan I am, I will call for a boycott because you guys have not only is he he a mayor in a state, but gay people, uh, people of the LGBTQ community. He's a member of a state that believe the, this group of people don't have should not have. It considering that you guys have you guys employ people who are of this community. And not willing to stand up for them or put out a statement saying you, you know, anything that you don't agree with this, I feel like WWE needs to be boycotted. And those people who are of the LGBTQ community who are on the active roster should boycott also. So in Tennessee, I got my notes there. So Tennessee uh, passed a House bill. Uh, Tennessee House bill passed. Uh, this bill completely guts marriage equality. What does that mean? So this bill will allow the clerks to deny marriage license to same-sex couples, interfaith, interfaith couples, interracial couples that the clerk does not agree, agree with. So what that means is if you go in Tennessee, if you go and you apply for your marriage license and that person that's sitting at the desk or whoever's in charge of who's going to look at your paperwork and approve you for License or not, and that person said like gays, they could deny you just be, just because they feel like it's not right. The law, they they can say that hey, do you know what? I don't agree with their like way their way of life, so I'm going to deny them, and there's nothing that they can do about it. Um, if you're an interracial couple, and this one really pisses me off because my uh best friends they're like they are in, they are interracial, uh, her and her husband. And they're married. And this pisses me off so much because it's teaching their daughter what my mom and dad loving each other is not right. The world doesn't see that as right. The world doesn't see that as okay as my mom and dad loving each other. And that pisses me off. And I just don't understand. She's going to grow up or probably read about this and look at this. Or however they teach kids in school now, which is you go to Florida, you're not even allowed to teach kids about interracial gays or anything. But can't even say gay in Florida. Um, but she's going to be taught that, you know, my parents being in love is wrong. And if what if I love somebody who's not the, the same shade as me, then I'm doing something wrong. You know, and I don't feel like that's that's right. Two people love her. They should have the right to get married. And just like uh, with interfaith, if you don't understand, basically, you know, if you come in there and you're Jewish or you don't practice a religion or you might be do whatever it is that's outside of that person's religion or Christianity, whatever it may be. They will not allow you to get married. But we're not a, that those people of that community, where there's interracial, the LGBTQ community, or if you don't follow their faith, you, they you are they want you to pay taxes. You know, some of them fight for this country. Some of them have died for this country, and you want them to be productive citizens. You want them to follow rules and all these other kind of things. But I don't have the right to love and be happy to be loved and to be happy. Why does that bother you so much what goes on inside of somebody's house behind closed doors? and Or if I'm walking down the street holding my partner's hand, like, why does that bother you so much? We're not, it's not like we're, we're coming on to you. It's, we're, we're, we're throwing, you know, gay dust on or whatever they think, like, oh, you hear, boom, you, we're throwing a gay at you. Now you're, you're gay. You can catch the gay. Like, I don't get it. Why is it so much hate in this country? And I feel like for a period of time, we were doing good. We were pro progressing. And, and I just, it just felt like people were happy. You know, you know, and it just felt like, why do we got to keep fighting these 
these fights and it's feel like and i feel like ever since donald trump got in the office and and spread it so much hate it's like he made it okay to hate gay people or and trans people and lesbian people he made it okay to make hate black people to hate people of a different religion he made it okay to hate people but these same people who are making it okay to hate people were the same one that was hanging around drag queens and 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 doing drag themselves and and he, all these other kind of things like gender affirming care why would you take that away for teenagers, you know, you know, if I feel they feel like because I know what it's like for them. Like, I don't I don't know that experience like to feel like you were born body. I simply know what that experience is like for them. So, you know, for them to. I guess that thing at age like, yeah, I feel like I'm a I, I want to become a man. And, you know, and like I said, they go through and talk to therapists and they're in the right minds and they're, and they're like, hey, I'm sure this is what I'm going to do. Then let them do it. Why? Why does it bother you that that is something that that child decided they want to do? What's the difference between them doing it as a teenager and doing it as an adult? Like, what's the difference? If that's who they're going to be, that is who they're going to be. There is nothing. There, nothing that you can do about that all you're doing is pro well, prolonging something that's going to eventually happen so just let them do it you know and then if what is to say you know that young person who feel like they're in the wrong body and because you know okay well i can't get on the hormones or do the stuff that i need to look and feel the way that i want to the person i want to be so because i wear my hair short and or, you know, I wear boy clothes and stuff like that. I'm being teased. I'm being mocked, you know. And I feel like kids have it harder nowadays. And some people are like, no, these kids are just something like, no, some of them, they have it harder. I, I, for our generation, when you were bullied, it stopped at school. Unless you came home to like a horrible household, like bullying stopped at school. But now due to social media, it's it's, it never stops. Once you leave school, you go home, you're on social media, you're being bullied on there. People are talking about you. People are probably tagging you and stuff, commenting, DMing you, saying all these kind of mean and hateful things towards you. You log onto the internet and your way, and you're seeing all these people saying your way of life is wrong, the way how you feel, the way how everything, the way you, you are wrong. So imagine being a 12, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 year old, however old they are when they start this, when they start this process. Imagine being that person and then they end up taking their, you know, and they're seeing this and they take their own life. Then what? So instead of them letting them become the person who they want to be, you rather for them to take their lives. That's not right. It is not okay for you to do that or to make them feel like that's an option. And I don't feel like that's an option for them to take them lives, for them to take their lives. Like, I don't feel like that. America needs to do better. America, I don't know. It's like, you know when it's bad when Canada reaches out to the LGBTQ community and saying they're allowing asylum for you, free people or for people to the community to seek asylum in Canada because it's unsafe for them to live in America. That's how you know things are bad. Like um, normally America is the place where people come for for safety and to feel and to feel well to reach for a dream, to live a good life, you know, to become someone. Now America is just the place of broken dreams where you don't have control over your everyday life. And it's and, it, and these people who were born in the 30s and 40s and 50s and even 60s that's still in office, they need to leave. They need to get out because their way of life is way different from our way of life in 2023.
you don't know our way of life. You don't understand our way of life. We don't want to, nobody wants to live like how it was back then. Y'all want to live during a time where women didn't have the right to vote. Black people still had to use separate water fountains. Some places, bubblers, wherever you live at. They say, you know what I mean? Um, when you're drinking water fountains, water fountains. They they want to live in a time where you know black people have to go in through the back door. They want to live in a time where blacks didn't have rights. Blacks didn't mean anything. They might even want to go back to a time where we are working in kind of being whipped. That's what I feel like those people who are in off who were around for John F. Kennedy and all these other presidents. And like I said, in the thirties and the forties and fifties and sixties, hell, some even in seventies. No, I'm not going to say seventies, but the the thirties, forties, fifties, and sixties, those are the people who really need to not be allowed to run for office. They need just need to get out of office at this point. They should not have hold a government position. This is why I keep preaching that there should be a cutoff on how long you could be in, um, in Congress or in the Senate, or after a certain time, you just can't be in that position after a certain age because you're disconnected from reality. You're disconnected from the people who voted you in. You're disconnected from the world. Because we don't, I don't see what you see. And then I saw a teacher in Florida. She was like literally crying. I don't know, I wouldn't say crying. I don't know, some quit. There's already a teacher shortage in Florida. And because of this new law now that they have in Florida, these teachers have to go through. And anything that's like, like, like flashcards, books, movies, YouTube videos, you name it. Everything has to be scanned into the system and it takes two weeks to hear back and whether or not you can teach this or have this in your class so it's like who has time for that how are you supposed to teach kids you gotta wait two weeks for approval for something like these kids uh, it's just they're not going to have an, an education at all the students in florida and if you are living in florida and you are in a public school i really recommend that you guys pack up and go to another state because that government there is so totally fucked up it really is. Things need to change. This country needs to change. And I keep hearing people talking about oh, America is going to have another civil war. It's probably a good chance that that's going to happen. What's her name? Marjorie Taylor Greene, whatever the fuck her name is, this stupid bitch. She want people, these, you know, the states, to, the southern states to leave the United States again and all this other kind of stuff. It's just horrible. It's horrible. Um, thank you all. So I'm in the show here. Thank you all for tuning in to this episode of Same Cast, Different Day Podcast, podcast in Wisconsin for uh, pop culture current events. And I know we haven't did a lot of, enough of pop culture lately. I'm sorry about that. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about that. We try, we'll try, try hard. Um, make sure you guys head it over to repsports.com and use code. Marta one to receive five to ten percent off your purchase. And don't forget to head over to habitsnewyork.com and use code Anthony Four to receive twenty percent off your purchases. And don't forget our subscription services four ninety nine on Spotify for uh, exclusive subscription only content that we're working on. So you wanna if you want to be a part of that when that content starts to drop, make sure y'all hit uh, subscribe to that. Four ninety nine a month. Thank you all. Oh, you can find me on TikTok. Facebook, Instagram, um, all the social medias. You can find me on there as Marto Rowland. So thank you all for tuning into this episode of Same Cast Different Day Podcast, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.